here's me thinking that all I had to compete with was your stomach grumbling and the emails lining up and all of the things that are going on in your head right before lunch, and then let's just add some abject terror on top of that. <laughs> and it's a perfect stage for a very distracted mind space to think about interns. And I actually thought it was incredibly appropriate because that's often what happens in big business. God, I love the interns. We love the interns. Love having interns. That's the last thing I've got time to think about right now. Okay, then, you know, who's going to do this and who's going to do this? And I'd like to uh, start with a really quick exercise. Hands up who did an internship of any sort. Keep your hand up if you interned in the field that you now work in. Yeah, let's see. It's about, it looked like 60, 70% of the hands went down. Um, there's three things I'm going to talk about today. One is starting at the end. What results should interns look to be getting from their internship, and what results should businesses be looking to get from their internship, from their interns? Um, second is the importance of speaking up. Um, if I had a dollar for every time an intern said, I'm just an intern, but, well, I'd have a lot of dollars, probably couldn't help me retire, but it's amazing how many kids will come out and just put it out there, I'm just an intern, meaning that my voice isn't as important. The third thing I want to talk about is the role of educators and how you can enable this incredibly impo important time in a student's life, how you can enable a great experience for both the student as well as for, for businesses. So, so first up, the starting at the end, the results, what do we actually want to get out of this process? Um, for interns, often it is, I want something from my resume. I want to get, you know, experience. I need to make contacts. And all of those things are great. The really important thing, for the, especially the 70% of you that put your hands down, was that you will learn life skills as an intern regardless of what the, the field is. And having... Um, a broader view going in, that I may not end up in this field, however, I'm going to achieve something that will get, you know, be of use to my future life. And having a broader set of objectives for the students is absolutely critical. And I will always ask you know, interns as they come in, what would you like to get out of this? And of course, they say, I want to make ads, and I want to do this, and I want to achieve that, and you know, they've got you know, an eight-week window to do some, some pretty hefty things. And, they can get exposure to a lot of things, but what you can really do in that time is much more around the experience of work and the experience of life in the working world. For businesses, I think it's even more important to have a really clear view of what you want to get from this group of students. Um, I've been working with interns for probably the last 15 years in different countries, in different sized organizations, and something that was pretty universal was even regardless of the size of the company, often it was um, a function within a business to manage the interns as sort of like almost a checker box. You know, the interns are coming this summer, or we've got apprentices coming in, and you know, it's like, they're gonna be here, we're gonna put them out there to work, and you know, it's, it's not really, what do we want them to do? And from my position as a leader in a business, I have really clear things that I want them to do. I wanna hear their voice, I wanna hear what's wrong. I want to hear their ideas. They haven't been, infected. It's not the right word, but infected by politics and by structure and by who's doing what. And they come with a very pure view of what the industry is or what, the, what they're going to be doing. And then lastly for businesses, the most critical thing is just, you know, from an actual ROI perspective, everything is opportunity cost. What is the return on the investment of that time in the interns do you want to get? So, Again, from me in advertising, I want to see what these guys can do. You know, give them either a real or a made-up assignment. Make something, build something, show me. And, and, you know, maybe, you know, one time out of ten it hits, that's great. But it's amazing experience for everybody. It's also fantastic for me to see how my team manages this team. You know, how more junior people get a chance to demonstrate their management skills. Often that's where it starts and stops. An intern is given to a team, they get delegated tasks, everyone's happy at the end of the summer, thank you very much. And it isn't looked at in business terms. So I think for both students and businesses going in, like what is that ROI? And what is the, the real hard objectives of 
that period in time. In terms of the importance of speaking up, again, this is a critical issue across the board in that workplaces are complicated. You know, there's a lot of things going on, there's a lot of voices to be heard, and often it is students who are very empowered within a classroom setting to speak up, that you sit them around a, a boardroom table, and you know, often they won't even, please tell them to sit at the table, often they won't even sit at the table, but sit them at the table, make sure that their voice is being heard. So, you know, a great example is in a meeting environment, I'm from a very verbal industry, um, the, again, probably eight times out of 10, what an intern has to contribute is its color and its um, embellishment of a discussion going on. It's occasionally, you know, giving an original idea, but more often than not, it's just a contribution. I would love to have more interns, you know, stop a conversation and ask why. Why are you doing this? How does this make sense? Can you explain? And there is something about, you know, the, the four-year-old in all of us that asks why five, five or six times in a row, that then you actually get to an amazing truth, an amazing breakthrough. And often things are done in such a way that they become, you know, institutional scar tissue. You, we do it that way because we've always done it that way. And it's often the people with the clearest view, like interns, that can bring a perspective that is so valued. And it's unless they speak up, and preferably without prefacing with, I'm just an intern, but, then you never know and you never hear that. And so any encouragement that, uh, that you as educators can give is so welcomed from my perspective um, and from, from broader business community because you know, they're not there for filing, they're not there. These, these guys need to be perceived as and present themselves as having to live the legacy that we're creating as the current generation of management. And you know, if they want to make things better, which is what all students aspire to do, we're going to you know, come in and reinvent and rebuild and move forward. And uh, if that's their role, speaking up, you know, during the internships and really asking the hard questions is the most, you know, it's the most critical thing that they can do. Um, and for companies as well, I think it's incredibly important for leaders of companies to say. Who is running this program? Who are setting the objectives? What is the feedback mechanism? You know, what are the results? You know, it's a, it's a five minute conversation. It's one that needs to happen more. And that leads to, uh, to my last point, which is the role of educators in enabling an amazing experience for both the students and the businesses. Um, there is that cost of entry, which is the functional skill set that the students are bringing. And often what I've seen is the students are so determined to demonstrate their knowledge that it sort of starts and stops there. You know, people hire people. You know, the, the cost of entry, yes, is your knowledge, but you want someone who's curious and who's passionate and who's creative and who has initiative and who has intuition and who isn't afraid to speak up. It's, you know, it's the whole person and really encouraging the individuality in, in students to bring that to the workplace during an internship, not just the, you know, their, their base knowledge, so to speak, is something that's incredibly critical. I had a, um, a woman say to me in my past that uh, she'd gone through some training, and she came out afterwards and she said, that was so amazing. I never realized I had permission to be myself at work. I was like, I'm, I'm not sure what do you mean? She goes, well, I assumed that, you know, I had to be a businesswoman and dress like a businesswoman and talk like a businesswoman. I'm just kind of like this goofy person. I'm like, that's what you're here for. You're here for your ideas. You're here for your contribution. You know, you shouldn't try and stick yourself with into a, into a little box of what you think that, you know, we're buying. You're already here. And I think that's the final lesson for interns. You know, getting the internship can be unbelievably hard. I'm not really talking about that today, but I know how difficult it is. It's as difficult as getting jobs now. But once you're in the door, make every single, you know, make every single minute count and really speak up and really have a clear view of what they want to get out of it. Do my passions lie here? Do I like these sort of people? Do I like this sort of work? You know, it's the best possible way to, you know, try before you buy, so to speak, for a career. So there's a lot that, you know, the business community can do. There's a lot that the educator community can do to enable really great experiences. Two minutes for questions. Hi.
international here. No, I totally agree. For anyone who didn't hear the comment, I think um, in quick summary, it's incredibly important for people who are within the workplace already to learn from the younger people that can, and as well as bringing more multicultural, more international experiences, which again, is uh, for anyone based in New York, it's always a great magnet for, for interns to come. Any other questions? Okay, some of the, the key metrics for success for the mentor who's managing the intern. Um, at the very base level, it's good use of time. You know, make sure that the intern knows or the interns know what they need to be doing. They have, you know, long enough uh, time frames as well as enough assignments to keep them busy. I think there must be nothing more disturbing for interns than having uh, to keep going and asking for more and more work. So I think at the very base level, that time management and scope management, um, at the more you know, emotional level, making sure that the person feels enabled to speak, that the intern has um, permission to go broad within an organization and explore. Um, and I think lastly, as a mentor, it's a great no. Last point is, as a mentor, it's a great chance to show leadership abilities and for that person to then, you know, demonstrate what they can do as a manager. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was very nice. Thank you.